DJI just updated their pocket gimbal camera combination thingy which we call Osmo Pocket. It has the much needed features and improvements and they dropped the name. Instead of calling this Osmo Pocket 2, they call it DJI Pocket 2. And it may look very similar to Pocket 1, but it is much better than Pocket 1 in a lot of ways. In a lot of, in a lot of, oh no, there's a glitch in the matrix. Play intro. Here it is! DJI Pocket 2 Creator Combo comes in this nicely designed box. Inside the box we're greeted with Pocket 2, windscreen, ultra wide lens, mini control stick, lightning and USB-C adapters, USB splitter charging cable, wrist strap, some papers, stickers and underneath that do it all handle, wireless microphone, a mini tripod and bottom cap with a tripod mount. DJI Pocket 2 comes in its protective cover that can also carry all of its accessories. The bottom part gets detached and you can attach the do it all handle. Then you can put the tiny tripod on and this monster is simply ready for action. Mini controller stick basically adds a tiny digital joystick on your Pocket 2 and the wide angle lens bumps your field of view from 93 degrees to 110. If you get the standard version of Pocket 2 instead of the Creator Combo, it comes with the Pocket 2 in its protective case, papers, stickers, lightning, USB-C adapters, mini controller stick, tripod mount, wrist strap and the charging cable. The tripod mount snaps in there very strongly and it's a little difficult to take it off with bare hands but it is not impossible, so keep that in mind. Osmo Pocket had one over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. This one has one over 1.7 inch 16 to 64 megapixel Sony sensor that has quad bare filter array. Osmo Pocket has 26 millimeter f2.0 lens with 80 degrees field of view. And some people said that was a little narrow for their taste. Well, this one, hey, well, this one has f1.8 20 millimeter lens that gives you 93 degrees of, of field of view which is fantastic actually right now since this is connected to the selfie stick it's even wider because this thing is further away from me i i can use the older accessories with pocket 2 but this means you can use your pocket 2 you can be in the frame and show where you are which means your viewers get to see your face all the time, the entire video. Fantastic. Osmo Pocket has two microphones, one here, one underneath. And a lot of people were putting their fingers on the microphones, which caused a lot of muffled sound. This one has four microphones, which gives this camera DJI matrix stereo sound, directional audio front or back, and audio zoom. So this is Osmo Pocket 1 and this is Osmo Pocket 2 and this is the difference between 28 and 20 millimeter lens. Also I'm not using any external microphone so what you're hearing is coming directly from Osmos itself. I'm guessing the one Osmo Pocket 2 with four microphones is gonna perform a little better compared to Osmo Pocket 1. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. But 
DJI Pocket 2 also has audio zoom and I think it's time we test that out. Technically, a good audio zoom must have cancelled the fountain as I was zooming into this random person on the street. So yeah, there is an audio zoom, but it's nowhere near the iPhone level. When it comes to video, just like Pocket, Pocket 2 can record 4K 60 frames per second up to 100 megabits per second video. But when it comes to slow motion, Pocket 2 can shoot 1080p 240 frames per second slow motion with only 17% crop. Previously, it was 49% crop. And also, Pocket 2 can shoot HDR videos up to 2.7K. Right out of the box, Pocket 2 comes with this beautiful tiny joystick that helps you a lot when you want to direct your camera to the direction you want it to look. On top of that, we have active tracking. As you can see, the cameraman is Pocket 2 itself. We've been shooting this on Pocket 2 this entire time. And the battery life is improved. So Pocket 1 had 140 minute battery life. This one has 2 hours and 20 minutes of battery life which is basically the same thing. So yeah, no improvement on the battery life. But the thing I most care about is this wireless microphone connection. Now this may look like Rode's wireless go, but this is actually DJI's wireless microphone. And it is connected to Pocket 2. Now let's test out the range of this microphone. I'm pretty far away, but I'm facing you. Since I'm facing you, I'm guessing we have connection. But what happens if I turn around? Can you still hear me at this distance or did we cut off? What is going on? Let me come back towards it now. I'm facing you. I'm guessing whenever I face you, we get connected back. But we're really far away. So I feel like that must be more than enough for this tiny wireless microphone and it sounds pretty good doesn't it now let's talk about the do it all handle do it all handle just gets attached to pocket 2 and it gives pocket 2 the wireless connection a tiny speaker that allows you to listen back to your videos and then it also has a headphone slash microphone input and quarter inch tripod mount it's actually very useful and I feel like it completes Pocket 2. Pocket 2 feels, oh, I hear a drone. Pocket 2 feels better in my hand and it doesn't stick out like the previous wireless module and stuff like that. I only wish it had some battery to it. If it added a little more battery life to this, then it would have been fantastic. Which brings us to the things I don't like about Pocket 2. First of all, we still don't have manual focus. We have continuous autofocus and we have single autofocus. But we need a manual focus control whenever we want to focus to the closest distance or just set it to infinity. And whenever I leave the app, my phone gets disconnected from Pocket 2. I don't know if this has to do with Apple's restrictions or DJI's app but this is very inconvenient when you just want to switch back and look at something and then come back to to the app and when it comes to white balance we have auto white balance and custom white balance custom white balance is kelvin and but in the auto white balance we don't have the presets like sunny weather cloudy weather tungsten the interesting thing is we have those on pocket one and still in some resolutions and frame rates some features get turned off so if you want a high quality video with tracking and blah 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 you gotta pick you gotta pick one or the other 
in 4K24, you can have the high quality video with tracking, which works great, but anything above that, you have to sacrifice one or the other. I also feel like the active tracking needs a little improvement, but other than that, you can find DJI's genius on everything else. Pocket 2 launches and shuts down a lot faster than its predecessor, but at the same time, when it turns off, the lens hides into its 3-axis gimbal. However, if you have a lens attached, Pocket 2 understands this and turns off accordingly. You can literally attach every accessory that comes in the Creator Combo Kit to Pocket 2's cover. And when it comes to low light performance, I think it's pretty impressive. I didn't get the chance to test out the HDR video, but as soon as it is out, I'll be outside testing it. In the end, DJI made Pocket much better and turned it into a simpler, complete solution for anyone who wants a camera, a wireless microphone system, and a smart gimbal that fits into your pocket. Also, Mimo app has AI editor when you want to edit your footage. It seems to be now you can stop thinking about the gear and concentrate on the content. Because this little monster obviously has your back.